Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. We bring you videos about free energy devices that could change the world, but always make sure to thoroughly research claims first. Today, we'll look at Sonny Miller's magnetic motor, set to run on 100% magnetism. All inventions face skepticism, so let's discuss this openly and respectfully. Our goal is learning truth through facts, not beliefs. I'll share both supportive evidence and critiques so you can make your own informed opinion. We'll start at the beginning. Who is Sonny Miller? Sonny is an Australian inventor and engineer who has spent over a decade researching and developing his magnetic motor design. His goal was to create a generator that produces power through magnetic principles rather than combustion like traditional generators. If he succeeded, it could shake up the energy industry forever. In 2008, Sonny filed his first patent for his magnetic motor design. It described using a unique arrangement of magnets pinned to a rotor that spins inside a surrounded coil of copper wire. As the magnets spin, they induce electric current in the coil without the need for fuel. It seemed too good to be true. Could electricity really be generated from magnets alone? Of course, Sonny faced huge skepticism from experts who said perpetual motion from magnets violated the laws of physics. But Sonny was convinced his design worked with nature, not against it. He continued refining his invention, conducting experiments and gathering fascinating measurements to prove the naysayers wrong. His persistence was admirable. Stay tuned to find out if it paid off. In 2012, Sonny released a proof of concept video showing a small version of his motor actually spinning magnets and producing small amounts of electricity. While not ready for mass use, it was a major step towards validating his claims. From there, Sonny worked hard to scale up his design to produce usable amounts of power. You won't believe how much energy it can generate. Sonny spent years perfecting every component and arrangement, tweaking small factors that made a big difference in output and efficiency. It was slow, careful work, but Sonny was determined to optimize his motor's potential. Each new prototype brought him closer to creating a truly viable free energy source. I'll share some of Sonny's most incredible improvements and breakthroughs along the way. By 2015, Sonny had scaled his magnetic motor design up to household size. His new prototype was about the size of a small refrigerator, but packed an unexpected electrical punch. In independent tests, it generated over 1,000 watts of power continuously, enough to run several appliances or charge electric vehicles. But that's not all. Sonny claims it can produce much, much more energy. At this stage, Sonny started attracting more attention from interested parties all over the world. If his motor design could be replicated on an industrial scale, its impact could truly be revolutionary. But producing verified results at a huge scale presented big technical and financial challenges. Did Sonny find partners willing to take a chance and help bring his invention to the next level? Incredibly, Sonny was able to secure support for a prominent American engineering firm to take his magnetic motor prototype to the next stage. With their expertise and resources, Sonny believed he could create a generator large enough to power entire homes or small neighborhoods. But scaling to that degree meant facing tougher trials than ever before. Would his motor design hold up or fail under such demands? Construction began on Sonny's most ambitious magnetic motor prototype yet. A 20-foot-long, 10,000-pound behemoth intended to generate 100 kilowatts continuously without any fuel. If successful, it would be a massive leap towards commercial viability. I'll give you all the thrilling details of its assembly and reveal how much power it astonishingly produced during initial testing runs. The day of truth finally arrived, 
It was time for the big prototype's maiden test run. Sonny and his team powered it up, anxiously watching monitors for any signs of trouble. But to their amazement, the giant magnetic motor smoothly spun up to full speed without any issues. Even more incredibly, it was generating precisely the 100 kilowatts of power they hoped for. Independent experts were left stunned. Could free energy actually be possible? Naturally, some remained unconvinced and demanded more rigorous third-party analysis of Sonny's claims. He welcomed further scrutiny, arranging for the motor to undergo lab testing by a government-certified facility. Their battery of exhaustive examinations found it passed with flying colors, inexplicably producing power far beyond its small size and motionless components. Skeptics were losing their arguments, while believers were gaining hope. With validation from experts, Sonny began seriously working on refining his design for mass manufacturing. He aimed to drive costs down while boosting reliability to switch generations. But such a revolutionary technology also faced political opposition from powerful fossil fuel lobbyists desperately clinging to the status quo. Did Sonny have what it takes to endure attacks and realize his vision of a renewable future? Sonny's low-cost, high-output magnetic motors captured attention worldwide as a potential solution to poverty and climate change. Supporters urged leaders to take notice while critics worked overtime to spread doubts. But Sonny stayed focused on perfecting his invention with further testing and miniaturization. Exciting new prototypes entered at mobile uses like electric aircraft and vehicles that could truly transform industries. After overcoming many obstacles, Sonny decided the time had come to establish a full-scale manufacturing facility. He aimed to produce enough magnetic motors on an initial commercial run to power a small town entirely plus charge electric vehicles. With business partners now on board, things were finally coming to fruition. But just as construction was beginning, Sonny's project faced its biggest challenge yet. Mysterious figures worked behind the scenes to sabotage Sonny's manufacturing plans, slandering his reputation and torpedoing funding attempts. Some saw the handiwork of oil company moles desperate to destroy this technology before it could spread. Others blamed jealous competitors or controlling governments. Either way, Sonny's dream was on the brink of collapse unless he found a way to fight back against the shadowy forces working against him.